This morning, the state's governing body for high school sports is looking ahead to the fall, weighing options to restart sports in Pennsylvania. Channel 11's Mike Holden joins us live in Pittsburgh. And Mike, it's possible we could see a county by county approach here. That's what they're looking into right now. Bottom line though, Gordon, the experts and the people on this board are saying we can't just rip the bandaid off with this situation. We really have to look at various factors, including the fan safety, the student and athlete safety, and on top of that, the coaches who are out there on the front lines helping these kids. They're going to weigh everything out, and on top of that too, they say bottom line, it truly boils down to how Governor Wolf handles this situation, and they'll kind of follow in his footsteps as well. Now, the PIAA Board of Directors is set to sit down and talk about restarting sports county by county. This is all according to our media partners over at the trip. The board is meeting online Wednesday via Zoom to determine what they will do next. The executive director of the league told the trip they'll have a group of people with a lot of experience in athletics talking about balance, fairness, and opening up standards. But he says they won't move ahead of Governor Tom Wolf's orders. Executive Director Bob Lombardi told the trip he expects high school sports to be played in the fall and they would like to pop possibly begin conditioning in the summer, saying in part, quote, I am cautiously optimistic that school and our athletics program is going to start on time, especially in the last 10 days, because you've seen some of the changes. Our neighbor, New Jersey, is opening up beaches, and that is huge. Now, out here live, that meeting is happening tomorrow afternoon, so we're going to monitor that situation. And in the hours ahead, I'm now working to talk with the executive director, and on top of that, any board members. So we'll follow this story throughout the course of this day, and I'll update you on what I find out for Channel 11 News at noon and 5 o'clock tonight. Reporting live from the North Shore, Mike Holden, Channel 11 News.